we are the major transit route uh, for the U.S. Uh, troops to and NATO troops to Afghanistan. I'm back. Uh, we are a major energy resource country uh, with oil, uranium, and everything. Uh, natural resources are abundant, and we invite uh, our American partners to work with us uh, to explore uh, and uh, exploit those resources. In these times, for example, rare earth metals uh, is a very trendy topic, right? Kazakhstan is full of uh, rare earth metals, and we are very happy to develop those with our American partners. I just came back this uh, afternoon from North Dakota. There was a good reason for me to go there because there was a big uh, iron show, agricultural show, and I brought that uh, agricultural delegation. We are buying lots of, uh, we are doing lots of uh, agribusiness with the United States. We are, there is a famous joke in North Dakota, cattle flights. Uh, so cattle cows are being uh, flown from North Dakota, Montana, uh, South Dakota, Minnesota, Nebraska to Kazakhstan. We have a very ambitious plan of, uh, plan of buying 70,000 uh, uh, top breed cows because we lost uh, our capacity in uh, beef uh, during early years uh, after the collapse of the Soviet Union. So we are rebuilding our capacity and we decided to, be, to buy the best uh, Angus and the best uh, uh, Hereford uh, breeds uh, from the United States. Uh, of course, uh, we are as uh, multinational as the United States and not important, we have uh, 100 ethnic groups and we all live in peace. Uh, we are building a young democracy. We are not a full-fledged democracy yet, that, like the United States, but we are an emerging nation. We are building our institutions. Uh, we pay special focus on education, uh, on the young generation. This is uh, our future, and we invest uh, lots of efforts and resources into uh, educating our people. US is the largest intake of our special government program called Bolashak, the future. We have more than 2,000 students uh, studying in 60 United States universities. And finally, I'd like to say that we are a reliable partner on the international stage, uh, in the United Nations, uh, in OEC, Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. We are this year the chair of the Organization of Islamic Conference. Uh, uh, we call it now cooperation. Being there, we uh, talk to our partners and we carry the messages, important messages of friendship, partnership and cooperation. Uh, enhancing the dialogue. We don't believe in the concept of the conflict of, uh, and clash of civilizations. We rather invite for bridging civilizations, for enhancing their dialogue. And your contribution, your role uh, as members of the most important uh, elected body in the world is enormous. Therefore, we always welcome the opportunity to be with you, to share our knowledge with you, to share our experiences with you, to share our concerns with you. Uh, we thank you for your attention. I thank particularly uh, Dan Burton, who took just recently uh, a very powerful group of congressmen to Kazakhstan, uh, late July. They saw themselves, uh, everything with their own eyes. You just uh, recalled, uh, Madame, uh, a very nice party in the, uh, in the cellars, uh, beautiful cellars of Kazakhstan in our <laughs> <laughs> I remember that party. <laughs> <laughs> so please, enjoy the evening. This is a friendly party just to uh, celebrate the arrival of democracy on our land. We are only uh, 20 years old. Uh, our constitution is even younger, it's 17 years old, but uh, it has the same principles of uh, respect for human life, respect for basic values, <coughs> respect for uh, human growth and development. That's the core of our constitution, and I'd like to thank you for being with us and supporting us all the way uh, along our independence. I, I would like to recognize uh, also the presence and support of our friends uh, from the Turkic community. You know, uh, uh, Turks are Turkic uh, groups are ancient, ancient people. They spread uh, from uh, Eastern Europe and Mediterranean all the way to Siberia and Western China. That's a huge territory. Uh, there are 35 uh, groups, ethnic groups, who speak Turkic languages. Uh, modern Turks uh, in modern Turkey, which is a great power, which is a regional, uh, a global power, uh, and uh, uh, 34 plus uh, other nations who speak Turkic languages. And uh, uh, I'm very proud to uh, recognize the great efforts of the uh, Turkic associations in the United States, Kazakh associations uh, uh, in New York, in uh, Texas, in uh, uh, Pennsylvania. They are part of this Turkic association, and I have uh, uh, our friends uh, from the uh, uh, Turkic uh, uh, American Alliance, from the uh, Turkic uh, Associ Association uh, of North uh, East uh, and East Coast America, and of course. Turquoise uh, uh, Council uh, for Americans and Eurasians. So uh, we are having a great event uh, coming uh, in Houston. Uh, you, of course, all are invited. Uh, we do not. Uh, uh, we are not that ambitious to believe that you will all come. But uh, your uh, invitation, uh, our invitation, and our hearts with you. 
So uh, Kemal uh, from the uh, that very uh, friendly and very powerful uh, Turkey Coun uh, Turquoise Council of Americans and Eurasians will say a few words. And I thank you once again. And please, this is your home today. Enjoy it. I know that you have very busy schedules ahead of you. We wish you all every success. I just came back also from Tampa. I was in Tampa and I was in Charlotte. Uh, two great experiences. I, of course, am a diplomat. I have to be neutral. <laughs> <laughs> but Kazakhstan uh, and Turkey uh, community has built uh, strong relations with, uh, on a non-partisan uh, non basis, we take America in its entirety. It's a great nation and we enjoy great partnership with this great nation. Thank you very much and can help please. Thank you to you and your team for hosting us on this special day on the Constitution Day of Kazakhstan. And then uh, we just recently returned from Kazakhstan. We had four incredible, unforgettable days in Kazakhstan, hunting, fishing, horse riding, uh, off-road riding, gaining 10 pounds, doing our best to lose our own ways nowadays. But uh, we congratulate you uh, with this uh, Constitution Day. and then, uh, before I uh, finish my words, my our condolences to the uh, State Department and to you all, you all, uh, because of this uh, incident in Benghazi, Libya, and we condemn it from the bottom of our hearts. Enjoy the night. Uh, thank you again for all uh, coming to join us tonight. Food. 